My name is Andrew Pons, and I'm the principal brand designer at Osler. Osler is kind of a complicated product within the financial services sort of fintech world. We deal with credit decisioning, like risk decisioning, where banks and other fintechs will use us. In October of last year, they brought me on as the only designer with the mandate to come in and kind of refresh the look of everything, uh, give the whole brand a uh, new style. Spline has been a big part of that. So we have this new color palette. The goal with this was to provide enough flexibility color-wise uh, for us to assign a loose theme to each of the core verticals that Osler operates in. So we use like blue tones for onboarding, green for credit, orangish yellow for fraud and purple for compliance. We use it spline that is for all kinds of other like more general purpose graphics. So these are just some sample renders here in the brand guidelines that sort of show the overall theme, which is kind of like that isometric angle, the orthographic viewpoints, uh, you know, just sort of trying to stay consistent with the overall camera work and lighting and, you know, scale and that sort of stuff. In terms of like the construction of it all, pretty simple. I have kind of square tile based system where everything just sort of doubles. Starts at like a 32 by 32 square, and then you can double it one way, and then it just sort of grows exponentially a little bit to a maximum of 256 by 256, which is the back panel there. All of this kind of just then gets mixed around and rearranged by me, uh, you know, to form these kind of backdrops which is the kind of like core aspect of some of those other scenes we were looking at, kind of represents like the modularity of the platform, you know, kind of back into the meaning a little bit, um, but it definitely gives it sort of like a technical, almost like computer chippy kind of uh, architecture vibe. And then on top of the backdrops, we uh, essentially put these little modules, uh, which is what I'm calling them, like all the little other decorative elements and stuff that uh, cast shadows and give a little bit more dimension to the theme and that sort of thing. And then the nodes of the actual risk decisioning uh, workflows are kind of the more relevant product representation. Like this is probably as close as I can get in Spline to showing the actual UI of the product, which is basically used to build and manage these workflows. The general feedback has been very positive. Like people are really impressed overall by the site, it's kind of like magic to them that I can do all this by myself. People just see like really cool 3D stuff moving around, like especially on our platform page on the website, I have this scroll-based animation, which is pretty cool. So a lot of people even internally have commented on this saying that it helps them better like pitch the platform to prospects and that sort of stuff. And it's not like that crazy, but it just sort of of highlights each layer as the text comes by and one of my sales enablement guys is like this is the coolest thing since i've ever seen like since the apple website i think that it does make a big impact on people and they feel we have a fancy site that they can be proud of you know spine is a pretty core part of kind of the overall visual workflow um, it lets me make 3d assets single-handedly integrate them into the website easily, build in interactivity, which people love uh, all the, the flashy stuff on the site that, you know, helps us stand out. We definitely needed to rebrand when I got here. And really the reasons that we wanted to, you know, revamp everything was to better appeal to an enterprise audience, just to look a little bit more grown up, um, but also to look more innovative. Uh, and I think that is part of where Spline comes in is just the, the things that it lets me enable on the website and with other things just helps the brand feel more cutting edge than some of our competition, I think. Just the interactivity and this with your mouse and that kind of stuff, it can really help bring the site to life. I use Spline for, for so much. One interesting thing is that it helps me visualize to people what a booth will look like. This is the booth that we'll have at Money 2020. Basically, I modeled this, you know, very quickly here in Spline. 
Certainly it gives people like the sense of what is the booth going to look like? You know, where will the graphics be? And this is like the real graphics that we'll have printed on the booth. I was able to make these in Spline, export them at a high enough resolution to uh, be usable at these big sizes. So um, yeah, Spline is definitely featured really heavily in the booth, which I still think will turn out great. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's the coolest booth we've had for sure by a long shot. I can, you know, apply these graphics to the website and export them and make them for all kinds of purposes. Just like the simplicity of the production, I think was like a no brainer for me. And I couldn't do things with interactivity and that sort of stuff. And our website is built on Framer. And so being able to embed these very easily on my own, of course I have to use this. Like there's no other way I'll be able to do anything as cool with a different tool to achieve this kind of look. So I think that kind of ease of integration uh, and the online like browser based nature of it makes it easy for me to share assets with other people or for other team members to jump in in the future. I'm going to do something really cool with 3D, uh, you know, really bring it to life in a cool way. And Spline was the only tool that would let me do that.